originally when I first got a job was in 2014, full time. I was an intern in 2012. So I've been in baseball for about seven years now. And my first job, thankfully, the Cardinals, I would say, took the first leap of faith in hiring a woman in that role because at the time in player development, there were no women. I mean, almost none. Um, the story that has become, I would say, near famous at this point is that after I did my first internship with the Cardinals, I, long story short, moved to Phoenix, was going to do a PhD in nutrition, decided not to do that, was discriminated against, tried to get back into baseball, was having a really hard time doing that, um, ended up changing my name on my resume, got a lot of responses. I was appearing as a man which actually didn't get me a job, but got me a lot more confidence and made me realize like for sure that my resume was good enough. It was just my gender and that I was just gonna have to wait for the right team. The difficulties were really surrounding, I think more and more, you just are watching what's going on in society. And it wasn't necessarily my resume, it was the fact that there were no other women. So I think that what was the most difficult part is just that there were no examples for any organization to look at and go, oh, well, it worked for that organization. Why can't it work for us? So that, and that happens with being the first anything. So I think that was probably the most difficult thing. And personally was very difficult, of course, like that was a very difficult time in my life. And I had to deal with a lot of people telling me, hey, just quit and go get a job with women's sports or quit and go do something else or be a personal trainer. And I kept thinking like, what's wrong with these people? You know, I kept going, why wouldn't they hire me? Because I know myself, I know how I'm going to work and how professional I can be and how diligent I am and disciplined I am as a person and how I was as an athlete. Why would they not hire me? So I think that ultimately it was really difficult personally and, and, and the challenges that I was facing weren't necessarily because of me, it was because of what was going on in the world at the time. Lots of people question it, but it's the people on Twitter that don't know. And I'm just like, could you read my bio for a second before you make a comment about me not being qualified for this? Because to the outside perception, it was really hard. And also there were some definite questions for me. I think there were some questions for the, because again, there were no women hitting coaches like a year ago. So now there's five or five or six or whatever, which is like the most rapid growth ever. So I don't think it was a surprise for a lot of people. I don't think it was difficult because of my background. Um, but to the outside world who doesn't know my background, yeah, it seems like it came out of nowhere, but it absolutely did not. It just makes me realize the impact of me doing what I'm doing so that some parent can send the article about me to their daughter as an example of what can be done. When I was hired full-time by the Cardinals, I was hired full-time by the St. Louis Cardinals in a role that had never been held by a women, woman. And by the way, I still don't think, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive that a woman still has not held this role in professional baseball as a minor league coordinator of anything. And that was 2014 and no one did a story on me. <laughs> but like now the coverage for women in sports is so much bigger that even 10 years ago, that wouldn't even made national news. So I think that if it's one thing that you can take away from my story, don't, don't wait for things to be fair. Ask for what you want, but you might have to work 10 times as hard, twice as much, and it's not fair and it doesn't matter. You, it's just like, you gotta understand the rules of the game you're playing. When I was getting into baseball, it's like I did six internships where most male people do one internship and they get hired in the game. I did six and I, the first time that I worked one job in my life was when I was 26. Before that, I worked multiple jobs until I was 26 years old. I worked multiple jobs, two or three jobs at the one time to figure out how I could do to make things work. And so the takeaway is it's not fair and it doesn't matter. You got to play by the rules until you are the top dog and then you can change the rules.